Hi, do you know what stem harvest is? Well, neither do I, but we're going to find out today by talking to Dallas Hazelhorse of Treetop Security. His new enterprise is Stem Harvest, located in the old Hayes Daily News building on Main Street. We'll be back in a moment with all the details. Hi, I'm Errol Wurtz with Landmark Realty, and uh, this afternoon we're going to be talking to Dallas Hazelhorst to talk about what STEM Harvest is. It's a new business that will be starting in Hayes uh, in April, and we'd like to find out a little bit more about it. Thank you for being with us, uh, Dallas. Yeah, thanks for having me. What is STEM? Well, STEM is a, a general idea uh, for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, now, in regards to STEM Harvest, what we're really trying to do is, um, you know, STEM is a very loaded uh, topic because it, it can encompass everything from meteorology to cybersecurity. Uh -huh. um, th so what STEM Harvest is really kind of focusing on is more of that technology aspect of it. So we're talking 3D printing, coding, programming, as well as electronics and really kind of a fusion of those ideas to where, you know, somebody can uh, really gain a, a heck of a skill set um, for, you know, today's job market. Well, when you were talking about that, you have treetop security. Mm -hmm. Will that be the kind of training that uh, young people would get to get into that type of business? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so treetop security is a cybersecurity uh, company, an IT company, and really um, they're going to be learning a lot of those same skill sets, um, especially from the cybersecurity standpoint. So, you know, I just mentioned those three main items. Uh, cybersecurity will definitely be a, a close follow-up. Um, we haven't announced it yet, but uh, cybersecurity will actually be um, an important component in the sense that um, we're going to be one of eight designated cybersecurity centers in the state um, that will help with training, have a free cyber range for kids to participate in and kind of learn some of those skill sets. And what age bracket are we talking about? We're going to start um, initially at about the, the six-year-old as far as the, the lower end, and it could go all the way up to high school and even to college, um, although we will have some uh, Fort Hayes students actually helping out and volunteering um, to do some of the trainings with us. Um, but really, once you get below the, uh, the six-year-old mark, um, we actually do have some activities, but what we found in some of our research dealing with other uh, centers kind of similar to us, um, you end up having more of a one-to-one -one relationship between instructor or volunteer mm -hmm. and the kids. Whereas at six, you can have a class or do a training and they can say, oh, okay, I get it. And you give them a book and they kind of run with it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really the difference and why we're really focusing more on that little bit little bit older range not to say you know the the younger kiddos aren't important but uh, mm -hmm. we'll definitely get to them at some point in the near future as well uh, for operation it be a Monday through Friday or will you have some things uh, available on weekends yeah the the plan is actually to have um, both during school as well as after school uh, during school in the sense that uh, we have a number of surrounding communities surrounding school districts that are very interested in taking day trips and things like that here uh, with their students, but also, you know, our local schools, um, TMP, USD 489, have already talked about um, bringing students here during the day, um, allowing them to work on different projects, especially uh, some of the, maybe the older students that already have met um, some of their graduate requirements to where they can come in and, and do some things that, you know, maybe they're a little bit more passionate about than, than the standard day-to-day uh, -day school work. Okay. Um, so yeah, it'll be uh, a little bit during the day, a little bit in the evenings to where uh, a kid can kind of go off on their own on some things, and then also um, weekends provided volunteer staffing and everything else. Okay, and what will the cost be? Uh, well, that's the, the fun part. As long as, uh, as, long as I'm going to be involved, it's going to be free. Um, the one exception to that might be if we do some camps and things like that over the summer, you know, where they're, you know, a, a kid would maybe be here for a week at a time or something like that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll probably have some costs associated with that. But the, the big thing is, is between grants, donations and sponsorships, we're really um, aiming to, to ensure that it is free for every child to enjoy and 
get a, a little bit extra education out of. Okay. Well, you took me on a tour of the building before we started mm -hmm. this, and you have a large, uh, two large rooms that will be the classrooms, I guess mm -hmm. is what you would mm -hmm. call them. What will be the capacity of those? Yeah, so between uh, the, the STEM space itself is just under 5,000 square feet. Um, so there's a number of breakout rooms, as, as you saw. Um, so there's a number of breakout rooms to where you could do smaller classes, more concentrated classes, and then also some big open areas. Um, between all of those, the load capacity um, for uh, our load occupancy is about 230. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be able to accommodate a lot of folks, you know, whether that, you know, you may say, well, what are the chances that you're going to have 230 people in here? Well, if we do, say, a monthly speaker um, that's an engineer at Microsoft or an engineer at Google or something like that where they're kind of talking to kids about their career in STEM and what they're doing, um, you'll probably end up with you know quite a few people wanting to see exactly what they're talking about and see if that's a career for them. Mm -hmm. And your data open is going to be? Yeah, so we're going to do um, a first event. It's going to be our, kind of our trial run, so to mm -hmm. speak. Um, we'll be in April, and that's actually in conjunction with Network Kansas and a grant we receive from Network Kansas uh, for that one-day event. It'll uh, help us uh, kind of hone some of the things that we're doing to make sure that you know, we're, we're doing them appropriately and making sure that they're fun. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the big thing. Uh, so making sure that uh, you know, it really resonates with kids. And then, uh, yeah, after, shortly after that, you know, we'll, we'll kind of uh, rework some of the things that we were doing or you know, whatever, whatever the, the pluses and the minuses were, um, and then go from there and, and start doing it on a more regular basis. Very good. Well, thank you so much for spending the time with us today. And if you want to know more about STEM, you can always get a hold of uh, Dallas. And uh, again, he has Treetop Security. And uh, we're looking forward to this great addition to the city of Hayes and to help our young people become more uh, knowledgeable about security mm -hmm. on the Internet. Yep. Thanks for watching.